Hello Leo, how are you guys doing? This reading is for you, okay? Leo, 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 Leo. Okay, so I want to look at you and another energy and see what's coming up. Okay, so this could be um, just another energy that you're dealing with and I'm going to clarify and look more into it. So first I'm going to look at your energy and then the energy that you're um, dealing with here, okay? chakra here something here that you're really healing it's probably from childhood i'm seeing like gnomes or elves but it like looks like you know in a little village kind of like the way the six of cups card typically looks and it's like um just like a little old town kind of vibe so you may see something with like old town vibes or something like that that may mean something to you. you have transformation here yeah you've definitely been going through a huge transformation there was something that was been holding you back for a long long time and you know she's wearing all green here so it's really notice like she looks like a little like elf woman or something on this card that's interesting. So it's like, you know, you may be, relate to something that's going on with that. You have new beginnings here. Yeah, there's a whole change coming for you. And this is because th there was a reason why you didn't really ever have a new beginning in a healthy way, because there are some things that happened to you um, that were not dealt with and needed to be handled in order for you to be able to have this new beginning. And this is really, you know, taking a leap of faith here. And it's like, I feel like you have had some time of rest and rejuvenation. And then there's some sort of transformation that you're going on. There's a new beginning here. You may uh, feel inspired to go travel, to visit different people, to go on a short trip or something like that. And then you have harmony here with passion igniting. So, <clears throat> and look at how they look like elf people. I haven't used this deck in forever and I just felt so called to look into this. So maybe you're watching a movie about this or something, or you keep seeing those kinds of things around. And this is just an added message for you that, you know, and look at this, he's in the forest here. So it's like, there's something here about that kind of an energy that is coming in here for you. So let's look at the energy that you're dealing with here. I wanna get like a couple of cards on this. <laughs> Yeah, material harvest and accelerated motion. Look at that here. This is like she's seeing a shooting star. So there is, you know, an energy here of success coming in for you, of abundance coming in for you. This is like, you know, very interesting because here you have this person who is sitting in the middle of the forest and he's bowing his head and praying and he has his hands out like this as he's like sitting and meditating, like asking, right? And then closing his eyes here and look, it's all showing up, receiving. <laughs> so this is like you receiving what it is that you're asking for. And I feel like this, this energy that you're dealing with is the universe. And it's like, you're not just getting one thing, you're getting multiple things. You're getting what it is that you're asking for here, but then you're getting more than that here. And you're getting it quicker than you think. This is saying accelerated motion. She's looking up at this star here. So this is like, you have a wish. There is a wish. I'm really sorry about my washing machine. It's really loud in the beginning for like a minute and then it's quiet the rest of the time. So there is something here that you have been wanting. There's an awareness here and then there's recognition and reward. There is a person here who knows that you are their destiny. They are now like they understand that you are their destiny and they want to let you know that here. And they feel like you are the reward 
not like a reward but you know what i mean like they you are a gift in their life and you're a gift in theirs you have firm foundation here so there is some change coming in here there is somebody here who wants to build something firm with you like okay <laughs> never mind <laughs> new beginnings harmony firm foundation <laughs> hey we got awareness we have truth I was just like amazing and I feel like there was something that it was you know really buried deep here with this base chakra that you really had to heal you really kind of had to completely start over from scratch some of you it's like probably six months ago even longer especially a year ago everything came crumbling down and you had to I mean, you couldn't even reuse any of the old bricks. You know, you had to completely start over here in something. And you didn't just do it. You figured out why and temperance is here. So this is very, you know, with the strength card, this is your card. You really focused on what can I do, you know, on your dedication to caring for yourself, healing and changing within yourself. You know, the lion here on the strength card can represent your inner self. And she is going to this lion and able to put her hands in the lion's mouth. And so this is like something that she couldn't just do day one. Okay. This is something where every single day, you know, these people that have these wildlife sanctuaries and they have these animals that are, you know, in this sanctuary here and you see these kinds of videos on YouTube and this is not they they with these animals every single day they don't take a break they don't take a vacation you know they don't it's not somebody else there on the holidays no they live there and they do that every single day <laughs> you know and it's so cool and it's so great and it's, it's very rewarding and they can get to have these relationships where they're so close with these animals and that's something very rare and special about it but that requires immense dedication you know you can't not do that for a day you know there was like an elephant that was in captivity and then brought to this woman uh because her mother died i think and so she was you know nursing this elephant and she went away to go visit her mom and the elephant was so sick the elephant almost died and the woman came back and then the elephant was fine. There was nothing physically wrong with him, but literally almost died from this woman not being there. So this is like, you know, a huge thing here. It's like you really had to do this work within your, it's like all feels internal. Healing yourself, listening to what is right for you, changing uh, thought patterns and beliefs and habits and addictions breaking cycles that was going on generationally you know there was a lot here that you really decided to say you know i'm going to take this opportunity that spirit is giving me to build a completely new life for myself and i'm not giving up on it and now that you've gotten somewhere spirit is like don't let somebody in that's not worthy you built this castle by yourself from scratch so those other people that knew you, that saw you out there collecting all of those stones and they were just like watching with their binoculars from their castle. They didn't come down to help you. Now they want to come in because you got a little something going here. No. 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 So. Look at this. This is about you understanding that you are great that there is immense greatness that you have to offer and you cannot accept anybody else unless they also have that immense greatness to offer this is you been selling yourself short for too long <laughs> you know and th that's changing here this is the transformation that is taking place you're doing it you're the one that is doing that Okay, so I want to clarify um, this new beginnings here. You have the Hierophant card here. You know, there is something here that you're able to do in a different capacity. This is what I was getting before. It's like, you know, you're not just out here learning how to chop wood. Okay, 
you've become a lumberjack and now it's like you got to the point where you're like yeah i'm like head of the forest <laughs> You know, I'm the one that's, you know, telling everybody which trees we're cutting down and which trees we're leaving alone. You know, I'm head of the lumberjacks. <laughs> you know, it's like there's something that you were working to get to and it's coinciding with the spiritual journey and it's coinciding with your relationship with money and your understanding of that. And it's also coinciding with relationships and family and how you see people and who you allow into your life and how you spend your day and what is healthy for you to be doing and what's not healthy for you to be doing and making those alterations. It's like a culmination of a lot of things because you have been really focused on your own alignment. And you've really been focused on what choices have made you feel left out in the cold and what choices have made you feel this passion, this drive, this vitality, this focus. And look at this. You have the death card here with the queen of swords. So this is the transition that once you're going through this transition, you're not going to be able to go back anymore. Uh, it's like don't let yourself go back here. That's what this is talking about with this queen of swords. She is like believing that things are possible that is not possible. You know, she has this sky on her cloak here and then she has the yellow butterflies. And if you watch a movie um, called Aeronauts, it it depicts, uh, it's, it shows them and they are going into the hot air balloon during a time when people didn't go into hot air balloons. This was a new thing and they were you know, how high can we go? And this was like setting a record. And they went higher than anyone else had ever gone. Ex extremely so at that point. And they saw a herd of yellow butterflies. A flock. A bunch of yellow butterflies. <laughs> and it's like, how are they up this high? And, you know, he says in the movie, oh, a classmate of mine he wrote something about this. He believed this and nobody believed that it was true. And so, you know, they were proving that he was correct, <laughs> you know, and they were also proving because nobody else believed that they could go up as high as they were wanting to go. So this is the thing where you're doing something that it's like hasn't been done before in your family, in your life, in the world. There's a new way that you see things that is changing and you can't go back to that. Once you, you know, do something, now this has been done. You know what I mean? So, and there's other people that you're going to meet along the way that also have this outcast, very unique ideas, very open-minded. The Queen of Swords can see things from a lot of different perspectives, okay? She knows how to speak many different languages. She can go to any culture and just fit in, and the people just love her, and she picks up on the way they think here and the way that they do things here. And she's very open to that. And she can kind of be like a chameleon to go here, to go there, to go here, to go there, you know, but she's also very unique because she believes and she knows that things that are impossible, it's not true. And she, that's her crown. That's what makes her, you know, shine here. So this is the energy that you're coming into here. You could be attracting another person that is like that as well. And this is something that, you know, I feel like for some of you, it's been a while. There's been some disappointments. There has been, you know, you met someone, you thought they were going to be it probably recently and it didn't work out. And then there was somebody else and you thought it was going to work out and it didn't work out. And so there's a little bit of, man, I really thought this was going to happen already. Um, but it's like, don't let the past worry you because it's like, uh, that's not what your future is going to be. You know, you only have to meet the right person one time. So it's going to happen when it's supposed to happen and trust that that is meant for you. And that is something that you're in alignment with. Okay. So um, anyone that comes towards you and they're going to remind you of past people. They're going to say things like past people. This is things you've heard before. There's something they say. They're going to remind you of somebody from your past 
with the way that they talk. So that's a warning about that person. We don't want to let those past people in like with the moon here. Yeah, it's like you don't want somebody here who's leading you down this unknown trail here. And then they're going to switch it up out of you out of nowhere. It's like, no, you you transitioned out of this with this death card here. So continue on with that transformation, right? You know, keep that going here. Yeah, every day you have to work at it. It's not like... Oh, well, I, d I did that now, so now I'm never going to have to face that again. No, it's just like that's not how that it works. But it's going to get easier and easier and easier. And this is some communication coming towards you that is wanted now. Now this is the kind of communication that you have been hoping for, that you were going to have. That's what this change is coming in here for you now. Yeah, you have <laughs> the star here with the Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords. So there's a wish fulfillment here. Okay, now you have the star twice. So this is a beautiful energy coming in for you here, but you have two knights. So you have one that's coming to attack you and like before, <laughs> but then you have a different one. There's a different one. And so that's the one that we're wanting. And you're just going to know. You're just going to know. You're just going to know who that is. You're going to know everything. Okay. So let's clarify this material harvest, right? Because we want that coming in. <laughs> So I want to see about this material harvest that you have here. What's this going on here? Three of Wands. There's something here. There's something here. So it's the, the time is now for you to see what it is that is here for you. Because it's like on the Three of Wands card, these ships are going back out. They already came in. So he's looking to see where are the ships, what's going on here, you know. And it's like, oh, yeah, the ships are going back out. So they've been here. So you need to get yourself down to the dock. You need to see what they brought in. You need to figure that out. The ship is here, you know. So it's like there is something here about, you know, this person. They were in this asking and trusting that the universe is going to provide. Being in alignment and just allowing, right? And then maintaining that and then it's here. <laughs> so it's like that's what it's time for you to do now with the three of wands. It's time for you to allow that the universe is going to provide and be grateful and allow. And just hold that. I'm grateful for what I have and I know more is coming. Thank you. That's the kind of energy that you're moving into here. Okay, so... I want to clarify this, you know, the two stars that we have here. This accelerated motion. Oh my gosh, wow. The freaking Empress. Are you kidding me? This could be a Taurus person that you're wishing for or is wishing for you. Could be an Aquarius person. Doesn't have to be. But, you know, she has all those stars on her crown. <sighs> Your dreams becoming a reality. Um, something that has not been done before being done you know there's something within your your being that it's like yeah this is meant for you but it's like maybe you don't want to tell other people this because are they going to understand this and it's kind of like you don't want to tell other people your dreams until they are here because a lot of different things happen when you do that <laughs> if it's not a reality already other people who knows what they're going to do with that they are going to make fun of it. They are going to be jealous of it. They are going to belittle it. They are going to doubt it. They are going to try to steal it. A million things happen. <laughs> when it's already here, that's different. So wait till it's already here. I'm sure. Keep it within you. It's kind of like there's a lot of knowledge that you have now. You know, I'm really getting that this hermit card is really speaking to me here. You went off on your own into the mountains, okay? And you did some introspection. You did meditation. You connected. You are one with yourself. You're one with nature. You're one with all that is. Got a lot of answers here. Problem is, nobody else does. And guess what? It's not, you can't tell them. They're not going to get it. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, they have to be close in the vicinity to get in it. And then, even then, it's their choice. You know, they don't have to hear it. So, it's like, you can't really tell. I, I saw this quote um, the other day. What's it called? You can't talk butterfly language with caterpillars. It's not going to happen. 
you know a butterfly cannot even fathom you know what it is that we go through in a day <laughs> you know they, they really can't and it's just like there, there are people out there that it's just like wherever somebody is at that's where they're at and that's it you can't blame them for it but you can't expect them to be where you're at and when you when you talk to other people about things they can plant these seeds of doubt and that just messes the whole thing up. You know, accelerated motion and now you have the chariot. There's something that's happening really quickly here. You have an opportunity to work with somebody else. To work with something, to make something work here for you. And it's like almost like you have an opportunity to work with someone, to do something. And... There is a way now that's going to be made possible for you to live some sort of a dream here that you didn't think was going to be possible. And this is something that it's like, you know, going to bring a lot of immense success for you. And this is your own unique idea to do something. So it's like, did you ever think of, you know, the person that thought, hey, let's have a cafe with a bunch of cats and we'll serve people tea. You know, like that's a really weird thing to think of, but they're very successful and they're everywhere now. <laughs> you know what I mean? But it's like, can you imagine the first time somebody told somebody that? Like, oh, I don't know about this. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like uh, everything that is, everything that has ever been in this whole world was once somebody's crazy idea. So you got to be willing to put yourself out there. But here is the thing. Wait until it's established. There's a reason why the fool is by themselves here, taking this leap of faith with the sweetness of life. And they don't have a lot, you know, they're carrying here. The hermit's by themselves. There is a reason here. And there is a point where something is here and then you can share it and you can celebrate it. But wait till you get to that point, you know, wait till you get to that point. You can, you can do that here for sure. Okay. I want to clarify this awareness card here. What is this talking about? You know, you know, you know. You have judgment. You have the King of Cups and you have the Two of Cups. And it's with this awareness, somebody now sees that they want something with you. Somebody is now realizing that they have these feelings for you. I think that they have known for a long time, but I think now that they are really discovering that they can't get rid of them. These feelings are not going anywhere. They're only growing stronger with the absence of, you know, communicating with you, being around you. There is, you know, somebody here that has a crush here, you know, this could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It doesn't have to be absolutely not. But this is definitely somebody here that, you know, the judgment card is my card of reconciliation. A lot of people say um, the three of cups to me, that's to me, that's not it. A lot of people will say um, the six of cups to me, that's not it. The six of cups is like, don't don't go back. Don't let nostalgia fool you now. <laughs> you know, don't let that nostalgia trick you. This judgment is like somebody who's done the healing work and they are reborn, you know, and the, the angel here is giving the news. So this is a divinely guided bringing somebody back into your life. And you get to determine if they are worthy of your cup of love or if they are not. You know, that's something that you get to determine. You have the four of wands card here. So this could be you meeting somebody that could lead to marriage, could lead to this commitment, uh, could lead to this dream life. There's like a dream that it's like, okay, you're disappointed because there is something that you have an idea about and you're not able to do it yet. And you wanted to do that with another person. You wanted to do that. You wanted somebody to share that with. 
And so there's a little bit of this energy of, well, maybe I'll just do it on my own. And I don't know if I can, you know, you have the five of pentacles here, but there is some sort of success. There's somebody that has their eye on you and they're going to come towards you and tell you that and they want to build a firm foundation with you. Look what came flying out. Ten of pentacles again. I'm not surprised. There's somebody here that wants to build uh, something with you. There was somebody here that is okay that you are getting the limelight because I feel like you're going to be rewarded in a beautiful way. A lot of people, you're soon going to be able to tell people about these dreams that you have because they are going to be your reality. <laughs> and so this person coming in, they are not jealous, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. There's a lot of people that are jealous of you. You have dealt with that a lot in relationships. People that put you on pedestals. People wanted to use you because you made them shine more. People that tried to make all their your moments their own. People that wanted something from you. Everybody wanted something from you and nobody just protected you and loved you and wanted to share this life with you. You know what I mean? It's like, that's what this person does. And this person, you know, sees that you shine, loves that you shine, and only wants to add to your shine, you know, but knows that you are fully capable of shining on your own. So there's a lot of deep emotions and, you know, this transition, this movement forward, it's like, I love it when you have um, the uh, King of Swords here, you know, this butterfly is in cement here. The two moons that are on the high priestess here. So there is a knowingness that you can't unknow. There is a transition that you can't go back from. And that's like how this person feels about their love towards you. When the king of swords opens up their heart, there is no going back. So this could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius as well for you guys here. Um, doesn't have to be. Let's see. This is really remarkable, you know. This is a remarkable energy. There's a lot of shifts. There's a lot of things in the world right now that are crumbling, that are falling down, and they are doing that so we can rebuild it better with a firmer foundation. Where is this firm foundation at? Bam. And so can be in harmony here. The forest is being burned down and turned to ash, but it grows, you know, immensely more lush, you know, with the regrowth that, it, you know, could not have happened before. So this is what's going on in the world here. And it's like, you're kind of like, you did the burning, you did the ash, the regrowth is happening and, and it's not going to stop. It's, it's continuing to grow here. And this is something really beautiful for you guys. Okay, let's see. Okay, you have melancholy here and you have messenger. <laughs> you know, I'm not surprised. There's a melancholy here, which, you know, she's just looking down, looking very disappointed. There's a little bit of energy of being a little disappointed because you thought somebody else was the one. You thought something was going to work out by now. I don't feel like that energy is like completely overpowering you, but it kind of, you know, it's creeping in every now and then. Um, but then you have the messenger. <laughs> so it's like, no, it's still coming in here. And then you have the scholar. Which is very interesting, a very intellectual person, a person very curious, a person that always wants to learn more. You know, this person is very old in this picture, but he's still learning. He's still, like it says, scholar, but look at how old he is. So, you know, he recognizes that there's always something to be learned, and this could be male or female. You know, but this person, you know, they really want to, I know it got so dark, right? <laughs> Sorry. So, I didn't even notice until just now. <laughs> You're probably like, I can't even see the cards. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, you know, there's always more that could be learned about this person. They're constantly curious and they constantly want to learn more. They want to go more places. They want to explore more things. 
And that's, I think, what you're going to love about this person and the kind of love that the two of you have. It's never going to be over. It's never going to be done. There's never going to be a part where, you know, it's it's just, that's it. it. It fizzled out. It's like, no, real love just keeps burning and growing. The passion keeps burning and growing. I swear this candle got brighter all of a sudden. I'm telling you, whoa, this person like adds to your light and in a beautiful way, not in a way that outshines you. It's a very balanced energy that's coming in. Could really be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but doesn't have to be. But just someone who is, you know, kind. Someone who, look at this, love. I don't know how to show you this, but it's an angel and it says love. Wow. And then you have this joyfulness. So then, you know, there is a celebration there. You're going to be able to celebrate these things happening in your life. So let it unfold, let it happen, and then tell people about it. Then share it, okay? Um, you have reunion here too. So, you know, could be, could be. You will know um, what's best for you. Okay, look, this got kind of spooky here. Well, <laughs> magical energy here. So thank you so much, Leo. I'm so excited for these exciting things unfolding in your life, okay? If you resonated with the video and you want to like or subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it, okay? Um, also, I have a book. It's called One Light. It's available on Amazon and it's all about the law of attraction and you know, manifesting the life of your dreams because there is a plenty in this universe for all of us to have everything it is that we desire, okay? And we want to see everybody else winning and loving their life and living their best life and, you know, loving everything about this existence as much as we possibly can, right? We want that for everybody. So um, if you feel pulled to... Um, check that out. I'm going to put information about it in the description box and that's there for you. Okay. All right. Thanks you guys so much. And I hope I see you next time.